There are seven values that soldiers follow when they join the U.S. Army. Those values also apply to the Army National Guard. Two of them are duty and selfless service, meaning you put the welfare of the nation before your own and you fulfill your obligations, like routine training flights at night, which is what three Treasure Valley National Guard soldiers were doing when the Black Hawk helicopter they were flying crashed in the hills south of Lucky Peak Reservoir Tuesday night. It's been a somber few days here in southern Idaho as the community continues to mourn their loss. It's a loss that will last a little while for most of us, but a lifetime for their friends and families. I've received numerous messages of condolence from many people here in Idaho and throughout the nation. And all of your thoughts, prayers, and support are sincerely appreciated and much needed. 43-year-old Jesse Anderson earned the rank of Chief Warrant Officer 4 in his 12 years in the Idaho Army National Guard. Chief Anderson lived in Boise and was a senior instructor pilot, but he was also a husband and a father to four kids. Chief Warrant Officer George Jeff Lobbin was just 39 years old. He also lived in Boise. Serving in the Idaho Army National Guard since 2010, he too was an instructor pilot. Chief Lobbin leaves behind a wife and two kids. Chief Warrant Officer Matthew Peltzer, 43 and from Nampa. Chief Peltzer joined the Idaho Army National Guard in 2005 and became a pilot during that 15 year career. Chief Peltzer also leaves behind a wife and two kids. It leaves a tremendous, indescribable void in our aviation community. Three soldiers, three husbands, three dads, an immeasurable loss.